Good afternoon. Well, according to the county's proposal, about 285 micro homes would be built in this village. Now, this site is about 86 acres. However, residents who live nearby say they have mixed feelings about the project. Pierce County is taking a new approach to addressing homelessness. This past Tuesday, the council voted to move forward on a micro home village just west of Spanaway. What it will do, County Executive Bruce Damire says the plan is based off a model used in Austin, Texas, and says in addition to homes and gardens, the village would have on site services for mental health and substance abuse, along with micro enterprises so people could work. Damire says the goal is to make sure people can access the resources they need and provide a path back into society. It is a, about community, bringing people who are, have been trapped in chronic homelessness, bringing them into community, getting them the services and support they need, but it's also about working and paying rent and being part of that community. And that's what makes it really transformational. Residents I spoke with, though, are concerned about their property values possibly decreasing and public safety. The good thing is they're getting support um, and some help and then another bad side of it is maybe it could get out of hand. As a homeowner, are you willing to, you know, stay and give it a chance or are you thinking about moving? I'll probably move because I don't need 200 uh, addicts walking up and down my street because there's nowhere other way for them to go than walk right down this street. But Damire is calling on the community to give the project a chance and promises that everyone will benefit. I'm confident that six months after it's open, that a lot of the community who has concerns today will think much differently about it. Now, the project is scheduled to be completed by fall of 2028. But if you would like more information about the project and get updates, you can head over to the county's website for more information. But for now, we're live in Pierce County. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.